When I was a kid in grade school, elementary school, and even high school, the teachers used all kinds of multimedia devices to teach us with. One of them was 16 millimeter film. Another one was transparencies. Another one was reel to reel videotape. And one of the unique ones that they used was called film strips. They even use slides sometimes, but I didn't see that used too often. But what you're looking at here is a Duquesne film strip projector. This is probably the Cadillac of all film strip projectors just because it's extremely well built and it's fully automatic. What they would do is the companies or the manufacturers of the film strip media would send you an audio cassette like this one you see here and a strip of film. Just a little roll of 35 millimeter film. Now this is the same film that you would see in a 35 millimeter camera back when cameras used film and it's the same kind of film that was in a movie theater projector like when you'd go to see a movie. All of that has been done away with of course with the advent of digital so it's always fun to look back on something that's a little antiquated and uh, not so modern anymore. They would also, before cassettes came around, they would send the audio track on a LP. So you would get a piece of vinyl as well as a film strip. And then your film strip projector would have a record player attached to it. Or you would just have one in the room and use the film strip projector to show the film strip. In those cases, there was an audible tone on the LP or the cassette that would tell you when to advance. So there would always be these beeps in between dialogue. I do remember one thing about film strips. They were extremely boring. And um, that was probably their most notable feature. I, I couldn't think of anything back in school that would make me want to go to sleep more than a film strip projector. But you may be watching this because you've you're interested, or maybe you've bought a film strip projector and you're going to refurbish it and maybe show it off to your kids. There's plenty of these on eBay. And the best brand that I've seen to get is this brand, Duquesne. This is the Duquesne, flipping it around here. This is the Duquesne Micromatic 2. And you can see it has a school uh, writing on the side there, NPHS Library, number 10. So uh, they probably had 10 of these film strip projectors. You have a volume control here. You have a, a power indicator. You have a 50 hertz and manual switch. Now 50 hertz is the frequency of the tone that is on the cassette that tells the machine to advance to the next frame. You also have a reverse advance, forward advance, and then you have single and fast. It's like the fast is like rapid fire. You have off, fan, lamp, a connection for a remote, a connection for an external speaker, and a button to elevate the unit. So you push that there, and then you can move the unit up and down. On the side here, you have a frame button, and I'll show you what that does, and there's a focus. When you first get one of these, if you buy one off eBay or find one secondhand, you're probably going to have to clean it up a little bit. And I'm going to show you what you might need to clean up. There's two things. One is the front lens that we saw a moment ago. And the second is the carriage or the, uh, the gate that the film goes down into. And it's this part right here. So I'm going to show you. We're going to take that out real quick. And if you can grab a hold of it, pull it out. You'll see right here in this area here where the copper is. There are two copper clasps or clamps that hold two pieces of glass inside this unit. You'll probably need to take those out, clean them with some Windex, dry them off with a nice soft cloth, and put them back in there. That was the first thing I had to do because mine had dust all over it. So I'm going to put that back in and it just slides back inside of here. Strangely enough, this machine also had an attachment where you could do slides. So there was a some kind of a box or something that would attach here and 
one that would attach here, and then it would pull a slide through, show it, and then dump it over on the other side, which is kind of neat. To replace the bulb, and yes, this thing has a projector bulb in it, a very unique one, is you, you loosen this screw right here in the back. Now remember, they had to make these simple enough that uh, school teachers could use them. Because just because they were smart people didn't mean that they were, you know, technical. So we pull this little cover off here. And inside is where the bulb goes. And as you can see here, it's a 300 watt uh, FHS or a 250 watt, 250 watt EXY only. That's the only kind of bulbs this would use. So you grab a hold of this silver part here, pull it down, and there's your bulb. And to pull the bulb out, you remove these two uh, clasps here. There's one hooks there and one hooks there. And just pull straight up on the bulb. To remove the uh, the lens on the front, actually, we're going to have to take this gate out again. And I'll show you. There's a release lever inside there. You see that gold or uh, copper piece right in the center of your screen? That needs to be pushed down. And once you push that down, then you can pull the um, you can pull the lens out of the front. And what I used was just a pencil. You just take a pencil and go down in there and you can see the marks that I've already put on it. You can put push down on that like that. There you go. And then you can pull the, the front lens out and clean it. Alright, so there's a little maintenance kind of stuff. And there's a, uh, a lens right there that might need a little cleaning or dusting. So we're going to set this back like that. We're going to put this in here. And we'll tighten the screw on the back. And then I'll give you a quick overview of the operation of this unit. And uh, really kind of a fun toy. You can, uh, you know, amaze your friends, have them, have them over and do a little, maybe some history studies or what have you. So I'll show you how to get this all back on here. Maybe I will. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. Another thing you might want to do is to clean the heads on this unit just out of, uh, you know, pure maintenance. Who knows whether the, the school or people that had it before you cleaned it. You might want to hit the eject button here. And then in, inside of the unit are three areas that you should clean with a uh, either a cotton swab soaked in alcohol or a clean t-shirt uh, soaked with alcohol. This is the capstan pinch roller. This is the uh, record or the playback and record head and then the erase head which uh, I don't even think this thing records. I'm not sure why it has an erase head. In any case uh, this is your auto stop lever here since it senses when it's supposed to stop. If you're having trouble rewinding or fast forwarding you might want to clean this little wheel right here because it uh, handles that responsibility. And then once you uh, hit play on the unit. You might want to turn it on and it is kind of loud here. Just put your uh, press play and put your finger in here and just make sure that this reel here has a little bit of take to it. In other words, it has some pull to it. If you can spin it in reverse while it's going forward right now, then that's a pretty bad thing. Alright? So we've probably got enough torque to pull it to set through without it eating it. All right, so to play your amazing film strip, I'm going to first put the cassette in and make sure that the cassette is on the inaudible signal side, just like you see here. Insert that into the lid, close that down. Then you're going to take your film strip, and what you do is you load the film strip into the top here. Let's push the, push the film feet back in there. This plastic thing holds the wheel or screw or wire screw hole in place. So what we're going to do is let's feed the film strip through the top here. Okay. And then once you get it in there, you're going to come out here and advance it by pressing this white button over here. Is it going forward or reverse? It is 
single Then you want to be careful that your film strip doesn't just unroll and fall over the floor like mine did. That can happen. Okay. So we want to see if the film advances. So it doesn't. So let's push it down there a little bit further. And you might want to have to push on it as you load it. So here's what you want it to do. Is you want it to go like that. Okay. Once you get it loaded in there, take your film strip and pull it up into this plastic thing. Set it in there like that. So there you go. Now your film strip is loaded and ready. Then you want to turn on the lamp, which is over here. It's at that position. And you'll see over here on my uh, wall that our film is a little bit out of focus. So let's uh, first let's frame it. That's the framing button. And then we're going to focus it. All right, making sure my camera is focused here. And then you just want to hit the advanced button a couple of times. And then you'll get to this screen here, or this slide, and it'll say, advance to the next frame and start the sound. So that's what you do. Hit your advance, and hit your play. Hit play on your cassette. Make sure you're on uh, the 50 hertz setting right there. And watch as the magic begins. In our last segment, we saw the evolution of civilization along the River Nile, culminating in the achievements of Egypt's Old Kingdom. Let us now compare this Old Kingdom pyramid with one from ancient Egypt's second stage of cultural development. So that gives you an idea of how the process works, and you'll hear the film advancing on its own as it plays back. So there is how you work and run a film strip projector. And if your film strip projector doesn't have a cassette deck in it, like I said, you'll have to play the other side of this tape, which has the audible tones on it, which will tell you when to manually advance the, the film. Beauty. Truth. That is all ye know on earth, and all ye need to know. And there you go, you heard the little beep in there. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, overview of this Duquesne Micromatic 2 film strip projector. And get you one and look forward to some exciting nights of audiovisual entertainment for you, your friends, and your family. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment, especially if you remember film strip projectors.